It's Dave here from Site3D and I'm going to quickly show you how to connect a garage to the back of footway with a driveway. So I have a garage block indicated on my layout here and I want to create a actual template for this because I don't have one already. So I'm going to go into my building pad tools, I'm going to go into place house and hit new. Now I can turn on my snaps and just to indicate around the outside wall into Site3D where this building is. Right click and hit finish and I have my building inserted. Now I want to tell it where the front of the building is so I'm going to say it's over here and then I want to put in a door. So in this case I want to put in a garage door so select that one click OK and you can see it'll let me put it anywhere on the outer wall of this building. So I want to put it midway between this point and this point over here. So I'm going to use the find midpoint between two points option to help me. So I'm going to say from here to here and it'll put it in the middle automatically. Next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this door is the right width from this point to this point. So I'm going to go into the edit house item value and select the door. By default the garage doors will be 2.4 meters wide but I know I need this one to be 3.13 meters wide and I can just click OK. And if I hover over it, you can now see the door width is the full width from where I need it to be. All I need to do now is hit the apply changes, give it a name, small garage, change the building type from house to garage, which will uh, set the offset from DPC to zero or the DPC ground offset to zero. Click OK. And I have my building, my garage in here. You can see it's on the 3D view as well. So the next thing I want to do is I just want to connect this garage block that I've just created to the back of footway with a driveway. And all we have to do is go to our building pad tools, hit the add path option and select the door that we want to add this one to. And that'll put in our driveway instantly between the back of footway and the garage door that we have here. Now this has linked the garage door and the um, back of footway levels and they automatically will update themselves so if we change the level of this it will bring it up and down let's just show you that one now by changing the level house and choosing the garage block here and we're going to make this one 15.525 15.525 so it's the same as the outer ground levels of this building okay and you can see it's updated and you can see that it has maintained the link between the driveway and the garage Uh, the next thing we want to do to make this into a proper driveway is obviously to add in our vehicle crossing over the footway here because otherwise we have to bump up over an entire full height curb which we don't really want to be doing. And the way that we do this is by going into our drop curb tools, hitting add drop curb and I'm going to use my snaps to help me and to say from here to here we can change the style of this as we need it to be. Uh, by default it'll be putting on a 3mm curb upstand, obviously for vehicle crossings we probably want something like a 25mm upstand. Click OK and it'll put it in and you can see it's instantly updated the 3D view and the curbs and the, and the footpaths. OK, so if I want to add in another one of those, we can see we have another one up here that we want to add in. I can now use that block that I've just defined, go into my building pad tools, go into place house and I can scroll down and find this small garage that I've created and this time hit select. And so now it'll let me put it in, but I need to rotate it. So I'm going to right click and hit rotate and choose a line off the drawing that I need it to rotate to. And now I can just insert it by using the snap positions and it instantly and automatically has added in the driveway for me. Now this time it's actually connected to another private drive. So it doesn't just connect to back of footways, it will connect to driveways, cycleways, footways, that kind of thing. And again, we can change those levels. We can go in, set the uh, FFL to be, say, 15. So this is the same as the outer ground levels over here. OK. And you can see it's instantly updated. There we go. Thanks for watching.